People like Ivona are a rare sight at the Fine Arts School in Sarajevo. She's ethnically Serb and lives in a suburb that's part of Republika Srpska, one of the two semi-autonomous entities that form Bosnia. To get to college in the city centre every day, she crosses the invisible line that divides the Serb region and the Muslim Croat Federation. Ivona doesn't want to be defined by her background and prefers to focus on what unites her with other Bosnians. I am obviously a Bosnian. I will never say Serb because uh, I will say that I'm a Bosnian of, uh, with Orthodox religion um, roots. I'm not really religious, so I will say just that I'm coming from that kind of a background. It was a war based on ethnicity that killed her father. He died along with some 100,000 others in the fighting that ravaged Bosnia between 1992 and 95. But this hasn't dented her belief that Serb, Muslim and Croat communities must learn to live together. I can't hate someone because they're a Muslim or a Croat. It's absurd. Ivona isn't alone in this fight against ethnic separatism. The association Education Builds Bosnia and Herzegovina awarded her a scholarship to study. The group was created by Jovan Divjak, a Serb general who helped the Bosnian army during the siege of Sarajevo. It helps to support orphans of the war. Despite his best efforts, though, they rarely work with young people from the Bosnian Serb entity. They don't like me. They don't like the association I head. Because for the Serbs, I betrayed them. I'm a traitor. And they don't believe me. How could a Serb join the Muslims? Many fellow Serbs still believe Divyak's a war criminal. He believes nationalism is being stoked by the weakness of the central institutions set up after the Dayton Agreement ended the fighting 15 years ago. But Ivona believes things will eventually improve. It won't stop me trusting people or believing in this country or believing that one day it will be better. I don't know how, but I'm trying to make things in my immediate surroundings a little better. Indeed, her best friend is Muslim and she'll soon be moving in with her Muslim boyfriend and settling in central Sarajevo. One small sign, perhaps, that wider reconciliation and unity may one day be possible.